Okay, when is the best time, guys, to bring out the L word, the I love you? Is it a sign of weakness? <laughs> no, 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 that's a compliment. I don't know if you guys ever told a woman you loved them. Oh, yeah. Some of you might have had, you done, okay, let's talk with Avi first. Okay, <laughs> okay. so you've told a woman you love her. Yeah. After how long? Probably, I don't know, three, four months maybe. I, I don't know, it's, it's, it's tough. Did like, you say it first? Yeah, I think I always say it first because I think that's, always, man. that's my nature. Like I'm, I'm passionate about about the woman, and I don't want to put her out there like that. I would rather just say, you know what, I love you. Let me just okay put so that out there. Now, now, so here's the thing: we say they love them. Now, here's some advice I want to give women. What about if you're in the throes of passion? And the guy comes out and says, oh, baby, I'm loving you right now. Oh, I don't know. Is that a true I love you? Or is that I don't know about that. I don't no, think no, so. The I think I love you. <laughs> but, then, but then again, though, it depends on the dude. He may be telling the truth, man. I don't know. If you're in the moment, it's a passion. I will say whatever. Throws a passion. So, can, so girls, can, can girls believe the guys when in a throws a passion comes out? Oh, I love you, baby. Uh, it, it might, that's the might, first time it's being said. First time. First time. First time. First time. First time. It all depends. What do you mean? Go ahead. It all depends. It all depends. I've had that my own experience. You said it. Where you want to say it. You're in the moment. You're doing really well, and you're just like, oh, I. Because the thing is, I want to tell you something. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, like, your hair is great today. Don't say it. Don't say it. Exactly. The thing is, like, once yeah. you say it, it changes the dynamic changes of the entire relationship. Everything. You don't can't, say it. You can't pull that word back. No, it's no, an illusion, no, bro. It don't do it. So, a, you can't say it in a moment of passion. You can't say it. It's so anything can be said do in not, a moment guys, of passion. Do not accept that I love you when in the throngs of passion. Because when you tell you something, if it's the first time, it's normal. If it's the first time, and after that, it's the first time it has to be said a different way. It has to be something different. It's right. a special word. Okay, right. so so we love that word too, and all the guys up here say I love you, and they love to hear it as well. They want to feel I love you. So guys, uh, if you can leave the ladies, we gotta stop pretty soon. And but if you can have one tidbit of information that would you pass on to your sister, to a, a female cousin, to a female friend, what would that advice be, Krishan? Um, simply don't assume, and um, really build on a relationship that is that has an open communication channel. Avi, I would say. Uh, be confident and value who you are because if you're confident and they'll see that you value yourself, they're going to value as well. Very good. I would just say drop the games, be straight up, be open, be honest, be friendly, be polite, be kind, be generous because that's what we want to do for you. We want to, be this, we want to reciprocate that same energy. Mm -hmm. H? Come into it with an open mind and um, you know try and shed your, your, your past experiences, whether it be hurtful or, 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 or positive, and just come into it with a, with a, a, a youthful, um, yeah, a, a youthful approach, a, a, nuance, a, a nuance, right? Just open. You know, guys, we, we get a lot of bad rap. We're dogs, we just want more things, sex and all this stuff. And as men, we have a long way to go to understand you guys as well. But, but try to give us uh, you know, the benefit of the doubt now and then about who we are, we're men, and to be a man today is, is, is it's a tough thing. The, to define a man is a tough thing. What does it mean to be a man? What does it mean a ladies' man to be a man's man? So we're wrestling with our own identity. We're wrestling with our own money issues, sexual issues, family issues. And most men do want to have a family. And most men do want to settle down, right? Yeah. yeah. And they want to settle down with somebody who they can respect and be respected. Somebody they can have a good time and laugh and play and learn to laugh and play. Someone they can take as a confidant. Somebody they can give themselves to. So we want all of that as well. But it's like a struggle to get there. It's like a struggle to overcome those obstacles of, of communication problems and identity problems and ego problems and insecurities. And guys, we all, I guarantee you, each one of us up here have our own insecurities. Some bigger, some in different areas, et cetera, et cetera. And so when you see us, hey, be sensitive, right? Be sensitive to us. Come up to us, talk to us. And this is all the guys. You know, and value the guys in your life. Treat them with respect because let me tell you something, guys. You know, we are the ones who help you guys, marriage, babies, fathers, and we're learning this process as well. So thank you guys very much for spending time with us, and so hopefully you guys out there, you learned something tonight, and you know, take it to heart. Respect is a big one. Respect yourself, and we can respect you as well. So this is Al from Fashion Studio.